Poland may enter to war with Russia. Poland's ambassador to France, Jan Emmerich Roskiszewski, said in an interview that a situation could arise in which Poland would have to enter the war. The embassy urged audiences to refrain from sensationalizing his words. Roskiszewski, in an interview with LCI, a French TV channel, Retz Pospolita, Polish media outlet, said it. It is not NATO, Poland or Slovakia that are mounting ever more pressure, but Russia, which has invaded Ukraine. Russia, which is seizing its territories. Russia, which is killing its people. And Russia, which is abducting Ukrainian children. Therefore, either Ukraine will defend its independence today or we will have to enter this conflict. Because our main values, which were the basis of our civilization and our culture, will be threatened. Therefore, we will have no choice but to enter the conflict, Roskiszewski told. Following the ambassador's remark, Poland's embassy in France issued a statement saying that it has been interpreted by some media out of context. During a 30-minute conversation with the editor, Ambassador Roskiszewski argued for the need for allies to support Ukraine. He also spoke about the threat that Russia poses to Europe and European values. A careful listening to the entire conversation makes it clear that there was no announcement of Poland's direct involvement in the conflict, only a warning of the consequences that a Ukrainian defeat could have have the possibility of a Russian attack or the involvement of more Central European countries, the Baltic states and Poland, Poland's embassy in France said. The embassy stressed that Ambassador Roskiszewski made it clear in his interview that Poland is not currently at war but is doing everything it can to help Ukraine and protect itself in Russia's war against Ukraine. Searching for a sensationalist claim that goes against Poland's consistent efforts over the past year to help Ukraine win in this conflict and so keep it out of Europe and Poland should be seen as a sign of ill will, the embassy said in a statement.